All right, guys, in my previous CPS1 InfiniKey tutorial video, I had mentioned that I wanted to do a follow-up and discuss some of the additional features that are um, built into this. So before we covered the... I'll zoom up a little bit here. Before we covered the um, battery games, and in my example, I did the uh, Q5. That was Capcom World 2. And... Um, I had programmed into it, um, I programmed into the Seaboard the appropriate code and we verified that that worked. So this is our battery Seaboard from Capcom World 2 and we're going to use this in this example. So the extended codes are over here and if you're not familiar with um, CPS1 hardware as far as the B chips, so on the, I'll, I'll go into the details on that. So on this uh, this battery C board, this has a CPS B21. Okay, so that's the that's the B chip on here, a B21. And then there's this list of all the other B chips that might be found on some of the CPS1 games. We got one through five, eleven through eighteen, and then twenty-one. And so, not many people would be using this feature, but it is available, and it can be helpful in troubleshooting. For example, if you had a faulty CPS1 board and you suspected that the C board might be bad, um, you could configure this to behave like the desired C board and verify if the rest of your CPS1 um, is, is working properly. So I just wanted to run through a few games and just show how this thing works. And um, this first one is a, I thought I'd start with a classic Street Fighter 2. And I'll just show that it's working real quick. Um, so this particular, there, now this is a little interesting. Many of the CPS1 games of the same title will use different B chips. And the, um, the EEPROM files are going to be tailored to that particular uh, B chip. So this one is using a B17, so we'll have to focus in on that when we configure our board, but... Let me show real quick that this thing is actually a good working setup. Pardon my laggy video converter. It takes a moment to actually get the image on screen. All right. So, coin up. So, this is running on all original hardware. So, turn that off. <clears throat> and I'm going to put the camera up here so that I have both hands and I'm going to remove this B17 C board I'm just slowly lifting up as to let those pins kind of ease out and then we're gonna look on our um, let me zoom up on this we're gonna look on our InfiniKey and we'll look up B17 which is one 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 zero one. So let's put that code in. One 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 zero one. Okay. And we will mate this with our battery C board. Put these together. And squish. And Squish. And that looks seated well and parallel. And so we're going to match up these uh, keys with the gaps on these connectors here. And when I press down on this, I want to, as much as possible, eliminate flex on the B board. So I'm going to put my fingers under this so that when I push down, I'm not really flexing the b-board very much. So I'm just making sure that feels like it got down nice and snug. And I'll zoom out here and we will uh, power this guy up again and see if it comes up.
and there it is. So our B-21 ship is acting like a B-17 because of the configuration that the Infiniki loaded into it. So there's Street Fighter 2. We'll do a few more. It's kind of a... Just wanted to show off how this all works. So I'm going to um, gently rock this back and forth. And I'm getting my fingers under the Infiniki because I actually don't want to separate the um, the battery seaboard from the Infiniki. I want to keep those together. So just kind of lifting and rocking, but with controlled force. All right, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. I can't see the battery codes on the underside, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to reference this guy. So let me get these aside and I'll grab another game. And this time we'll do some final fight. And as you can see the the seaboards um, come in all shapes and sizes. This one looks quite different from the previous. So and power this guy up. Wake up. There you go. There's the old final fight. Alright, so that's working. And we'll remove this seaboard. And again, I'm going to lift with some controlled force here. That one actually popped out really easily. And as you can see here, let me zoom in, this says B04. So we need to set codes for B04. So we look on our chart here, and B04 is 01100. So we're going to grab this guy. Reset these, and it was zero one one zero zero. And we will put this guy in. Okay, again, I'm supporting that so it doesn't bend the B board too much. All right, and we'll apply some power. And this this procedure repeats for for every game. So uh, you've you've pretty much seen everything there is to see. But if you want to stick around, I'll do a few more games just to show you a variety of seaboard types and codes. So there it is. Working as a B04. Alright, and we'll do a couple more games. Get this guy out of here. Remove our remove our key setup. And how about next we do how about Dynasty Wars? That's a cool one. Come on, come with me. Okay, so remove this. And as you'll see here, some of these boards actually have the um, B chip on top. So this one is a B02. Power this guy up, and make sure he comes up okay with the original hardware. Wake up. There it is. All right. 
Okay. All right, so we will gently remove our seaboard. And we'll check the code. What's the code for a BO2? BO2 is zero one zero one zero. So we'll get this guy. We'll go reset this. We'll go zero one zero one zero. Okay. And we'll insert this guy. That went in a lot easier than the previous. And we'll apply some power. Make sure this guy comes up. And there it is. I think on this one, I think my A board is, is bad. I think my audio is screwed up on it. Some of the, some of the audio voices are messed up. I need to check out my A board. So this isn't a result of a bad code on the C board. It's just, uh, it's my A board. I think it's that Oki chip on there, if you're familiar with those. All right. And we'll do one more game after this. We'll do possibly my favorite CPS1 game outside of Street Fighter. Alright. What do you think it is? Suspense. That's right, the magic sword. This to me is is like such a such a perfect arcade feel. When I think of arcadey feeling games. Magic Sword is way up there. So we'll remove this seaboard and see what kind of B chip is on it because we can't tell from the top. Okay, what is it? It says A, B13. So we'll put that aside. Check our codes. We've got a. Oop, wrong side. B13 is 11001. Alright. So 1101. Alright. Alright. There's that. Put this guy in. Power this guy up. Yeah, it's so funny being as this is one of my favorite games. This is probably one of the very last CPS1 games I purchased. I'm not sure what took me so long. So, what's going on? Where's my picture? Oh, haha. <laughs> Check this out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not pressed in all the way. So let me do that. All right. 
There you go. Always make sure the boards are fully seated. Apply some power. Come on. Wake up. Huh. Well, isn't that uh, special? Hmm. Okay. Ooh. What is going on? I think I put the wrong code in here. Now you know what the wrong code looks like. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to double check this. Alright. So. Double check our codes. What could we have done wrong? Maybe some of you guys watching saw what I did and I overlooked something. Okay, so we want we want a B13. Our code for B13 is 11001. Ah, wrong code. There you go. Mind your codes, people. All right. Now we're now we're home free. There you go. All right. Now that I look like an idiot, you know what happens when you do it wrong. And that's it. Thanks for watching.